हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम राघवेंद्र कुमार सिंह फैकल्टी ऑफ यू एस अकेडमी एंड इंस्टीट्यूट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस क्लास सिक्स सिविक्स फिफ्थ चैप्टर पंचायती राज वॉट हैपन्स आफ्टर पीपल्स इलेक्ट देयर रिप्रजेंटेटिव हाउ आर डिसीजन्स मेड इन रूरल एरियाज and how it took place in rural areas we will discuss about uh, gram sabha which uh, is a meeting where people directly participate and seek their answers from their elected representatives let us discuss gram sabha the gram sabha a meeting of all adult who live in the area covered by panchayat could be only one village or a few villages in some states the village meeting is held for each village anyone who is 18 year old or more with the right to vote is a member of the gram sabha The Gram Sabha meeting often begins with the Panchayat President, who is called as Sarpanch, and the members of the Panchayat, which are called the Panch, presenting a plan. Every village Panchayat is divided into wards, means smaller areas. Each ward elects. a representative who is known as the ward member means the panch all the members of the gram sabha also elect a sarpanch who is the panchayat president the ward panch and the sarpanch form the panchayat means gram gram panchayat which is elected for 5 years the gram panchayat has a secretary who is also the secretary of the gram sabha who is not an elected person but is appointed by the government and is responsible for calling the meetings of the gram sabha and the gram panchayat and keeping a record of the proceeding the gram sabha makes the gram panchayat plays its role and be responsible and it is where our plans for the work of the gram panchayat are placed before the peoples the gram sabha prevents panchayat from doing wrong things like misusing money or favoring certain peoples and keeps an eye on the elected representatives and makes them responsible to the person who elected them so gram sabha is a body consisting of person registered in the electoral roll at the village level within the area of the panchayat the president officer of the panchayat is known as sarpanch and the pradhan or mukhiya who recommended of the gram sabha are binding into the gram panchayat the key role instructed to the gram sabha are micro planning the social adult of a panchayat functioning ratification of panchayat accounts balance sheet identification and approval of beneficiaries and supervisory and regulatory functions the institution of the gram sabha is very important as it gives an opportunity to each and every voter of the gram panchayat at the local level to take part in the decision making process of the decentralized governance 
as well as in planning and development. Now the Gram Panchayat. The Gram Panchayat meets regularly implement development programs for all villages that come under it. Works for of the Gram Panchayat has to be approved by the Gram Sabha. Gram Sabha's forms committee uh, likes constructions and development committees in some states. Committees include some members of the Gram Sabha, some from the Gram Panchayat, who works together to carry out a specific task. The work of the Gram Panchayat. The construction and maintenance of uh, water resources, roads, drainage, school buildings, and other common property resources, living and collecting local taxes, executing governance scheme uh, related to generating employment in the villages. Now the source of fund for the panchayat. Collection of uh, taxes on houses makes uh, or marketplace, etc. Government scheme funds receiving through various departments of the government, through the Janpad and Jila Panchayat, donation for community works, etc. Gram Panchayat is the executive wings of the Gram Sabha. Now, the three levels of the panchayat. Panchayati Raj system is a process through which peoples participate in their own government. In rural areas, the government uh, named uh, Gram Panchayat first year or level of uh, democratic government. The Panch and the Gram Panchayat answerable to the Gram Sabha. It is the member of the Gram Sabha who elected them. The idea of people's participation in the Panchayati Raj system extends to two other levels. One is the block level called the Janpat Panchayat or the Panchayat Samiti with many Gram Panchayats under it. Above the Panchayat Samiti is the District Panchayat or the Jila Parishad that actually makes developmental programs or plans at the district level. With the help of Panchayat Samitis regulates the money distribution among all the Gram Panchayats. Each state in the country has its own law with regards to Panchayats. The idea is to provide more and more space for people to participate and raise their voices. Whereas the work of the Gram Panchayat has to be approved by the Gram Sabha. The Gram Panchayat is always answerable by their representatives who directly participate in Gram Sabha's meeting. Every village panchayat is divided in different wards, which is represented by a particular person named ward member. The term of Gram Panchayat is also for five years. The Gram Panchayat and the Gram Sabha have one common secretary. The secretary is appointed by the government. It is the secretary who always calls the meetings of the Gram Sabha and the Panchayat. The Panchayati system is a process through which people participate in their own government. The Panchayati Raj, Panchayati Raj system is the first tier or the level of government which extends to other levels. Block level means the Panchayat, Janpat Panchayat or the Panchayat Samiti 
एंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल मीन्स जिला परिषद